What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 14. Remember to check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut versions. Actually, this is going to be Episodes 13 and 14. I forgot I have to edit this together. Um, come check out the Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us before they even go on Patreon. It's always a vibe. We got some crazy stuff going on. I'm not going to waste any more time. My Hero Academia Season 7, Episodes 13 and 14. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Episode 13. Are they gonna thank you i like that term a school bus let's give my man a little transportational lift my man could use some assistance we got more fucking stealth bomber fighter jets come on we know america's a little wild right now so i respect that for cassie darn stripe that's the girly come on My man is propelling from already very fast moving ships, so my man's going a thousand miles an hour. I love that looks it literally looks like a manga panel right there. I love that look. Yeah, I need to know more about his court. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Deku's going to snap. I completely forgot he's now going to witness Bakugo and his lifeless body being reincarnated by an Ed shot. Oh, my God. Deku's about to snap. He sees how serious Best Genus is, how dire the situation is. Neji Ray, Tamaki, Mirko has her other arm ripped off. My man is quite literally going Super Deku. That's like Aang when Kantara is trying to calm him down, you know? W, Mirio. <laughs> is he going to talk him out of it? Is he going to win him back? Backs. We got to turn these shitty reality in, into the ideal reality we want to make. Oh, I love that. I love it. Especially coming from Mirio. Anger is important, but control it. I do like that concept. Tempered and steeled anger is much better than violent and loose anger, you know? Yup. Oh. Literally tempered and steeled. I love the imagery of all the past users behind him. That's that might be my thumbnail right there. Who's that? It's so weird because it literally does seem like it's all for one, but it's Shigaraki's voice, so it's weird to me. Yes, when he struck a nerve, yup. Tomura, not even Tomura, Tenko, Shimura came out. I like Muriel's observations right here. Fully agree, I fully agree. You can see that's her son. Yup. Yup. We wouldn't have the imagery of Tenko's family if he wasn't in there. He pushed the whole coffin down. Oh my god, that's how heavy that jump was. <laughs> okay, block. With the Fajin ah, stored, a boosted binding combo. Okay, making combo names. What are we talking about? Alright, Goku. What the hell? Alright, Luffy! What show are we watching? He literally is upshifting into gear, bro. Okay, that's crazy. I love that look. It's gotten stronger. Yeah, 
Oh my god, this shot is amazing! That was one of the best animated punches in My Hero, and they had some clean ass punches. I love this imagery of him like holding uh, Sugar. Oh, this is getting crazy. <laughs> it's getting crazy. Anytime they play You Say Run, I get turned into a little geeky nerd. Originally only worked on small objects. Cell by cell is just broken. Can change the way the world works. Um, sir? just stops oh my god he can oh my that's so broken it's not dependent it literally changes the laws of physics i love the look of physically changing the gear black whip come on this kid bro this kid i love how we show the image of the user with the quirk and how, oh my god He's literally doing an ultimate combination of quirk attacks. Anytime they play this song. I think it's season one. And oh, I love how it shows the users. And they're... Oh, my God. Come on. I've seen this image a hundred times, but I've never seen it with the users at each and all might at the end there. Come on. With you say run, bro, it brings you back to season one. He literally is the next All Might. So much shit's going on right now. Is he gonna bust through pause? He beat the living cosmic dog shit out of him with the fucking galaxy coming out there oh he beat the soul out of him literally really they're becoming more and more unstable it starts now i don't like this Normally when a villain is about to be defeated and talks like this, they're about to have a crazy power up. I love how we said that we had the first saying the series of events and now it's all for one saying it. The symbolism and the dualities are insane, bro. Spinner, I completely forgot about Spinner, bro. You do. It's not over yet. That episode went by in a heartbeat, I won't lie. All right, here we go. This is going to be more about Shoji and Spinner. And I like how they show a symbol, you know, like a lizard crawling on the wall. Is whoever this is about to jump in the river and potentially... 15,000 is a lot. With the Molotov cocktails, relax. Ooh, rock lock? Oh, present mic. Eh, okay. 200 versus 15,000. We got a couple of people here. <laughs> yeah, they're all here for your old friend. I don't get to see present mic fight too often. I love seeing him fight. Good save. Hmm. W. I have a feeling we're going to get a Shoji v Spinner, like a 1v1, or at least a important fight. Shoji is, in my opinion, the face of Heteromorphs in our class. To a certain extent, I get it. That's one of the reasons I always love the X-Men stories, because of how they deal with discrimination and, and, and prejudice, you know? So I could totally see how Heteromorphs would be 
discriminated against in this world. Of the differently formed. That's kind of an interesting way of putting that. I didn't know there were incidents that were... Heteromorphs have been attacked, assaulted. Oh, yeah. See, that's, that's, just, that's horrible, you know? Like I said, I get what he's saying to a certain extent. I'm just not going to burn down the city. That makes me that mad, you know? I'm of the opinion you have to try to change it from the inside, you know? Spinner is our spokesperson. I wonder what specifically what quirk he got. Or mix of quirks. He's not even there mentally. I do, I do have always liked Shoji, especially season three, everything with Tokoyami, you know? Mm-hmm. Didn't matter who or what you look like. You guys didn't do that? You'll blow up everyone if, you know? Oh, was that Shoji that whole time? I thought that was Spinner in that flashback. That's a good... He's had his fair share of issues. Just ooh, kind of got goosebumps. I won't lie. We don't get to see him kind of go off that often, or his face at all. You guys are not gonna make progress for yourselves. What in the moonfish power? That's the quirk body bulk. He gave him two quirks. What the fuck is he turning into a an armadillo? Sonic the Hedge. What? Obviously, he's going through an immense amount of pain, but no one's gonna be able to punch him. Some League of Legends. All right. Who's the boy that be rolling up in League of Legends? Because that's who he looks like now. What the fuck is this design? And that's one of his limbs lost. Thank the Lord Shoji has almost infinite replacements, but. What is he evolving? I knew they did horrible things. I didn't know it was that bad, though. That's why he wears the mask to hide the scars from his village when they beat him as a child. I mean, you think you look back at Gang Orca, who's a genuinely really cool guy who's ranked super high on the heroes who look like a villain, you know? He has to go extra out of his way, like, to make people like him, you know? Like, Shoji is a cool ass dude. Instead of tallying up bad memories. And I love how, because of his power, that's the only reason he was able to save that girl, too. <laughs> I'd rather, instead of tallying up bad memories, I'd rather cling to the one... Aww. She gets me tearing up, man. W Shoji. <laughs> I know, right? We had to have made a couple with you. Come on, bud. W Shoji. That is true. There's discrimination that takes a long time to whittle away. Hey, evolution? Right, especially looking at how... Come on, she was a great example. Ooh, the coiled up punches? Extra power? Thank you. Thank you. Get this dude out of here. Man, literally looks like he's about to summon Arceus or something. Like I said, I've always loved President Mike being the narrator. We don't get to see him in action and live too often. I love seeing it. 
We were called the three Domingos. Pass it on for the next generation. Reminds me of Naruto so much, you know? The budding green of the leaf. Oh, it's an expansion of their quirk. More empathy, more feelings. Mm. W dad, W dad. So that's why he literally just said, don't laugh at Shoji. I love that. Hitchcock birds. Didn't Alfred Hitchcock write or direct the story about the movie called Birds or something like that? Which is a horror movie. That movie is terrifying. Shout out present Mike. Break that bitch ass sword. Octo expansion. Okay, Shoji. You fucking gangster. Facts. If there's ever a face for heteromorphs, it's my man Shoji. So saving her, touching her was what was deemed as creepy and unforgivable, which got him beat. He low-key has one of the saddest and most touching backstories in my era. And for him to turn out as positively as he is, a miracle. He has the perfect example of a villain story. I'm not gonna lie, that episode went by in about seven minutes. That was so fast. Okay, that episode, I was definitely expecting a spinner focused episode at some point more focused on this area of the rampage just because with a war centric arc like this one i love when we have separated battles obviously it makes me think of naruto because you can have a very long battle centric arc that feels fresh and not super dragged out because you're cutting back and forth between so many different groups you know like i haven't seen all for one and endeavor in a while and i'm kind of craving that but it was great seeing shoji I loved, absolutely loved, but also hated his backstory. Not gonna lie, one of the more tragic, one of the more sad backstories. Saw a young girl drowning, saved her. Because he saved her, the people who deemed him as creepy and oh, like, I don't even want to repeat that. That's so, that's so <sighs> vile. I don't know. But the fact that he's able to turn out as positive and like people in chat were saying, mentally mature as he is, like, the ideology of I would way rather cling to the one good memory I have than to tally up the bad ones. Like your instinct, your natural bodily instinct is just tally up the, the horrible shit that's happened to you. But God, he's truly an inspiration. Truly, truly. And uh, I love that. I love their teamwork. Uh, love that episode. Uh, and this is going to be edited together with episode 13 as well. So, uh, just, I'm recording this the week after 13, but that was a great fight with Deku. Love that. Love that. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions. Check out the Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us. Um, it's always a vibe. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad.